We've been talking about the future of work for more than 20 years, and the future of work is here. That is, if you're ready to meet it. After 10 years of research with hundreds of executives from the most respected organizations, I'd like to offer you and your teams a roadmap for the new work rules in a new work world. As leaders, we can no longer cling to the constraining models of authority and control. My new book, Leading Without Authority, offers a roadmap for co-elevation, a word I had to create because the traditional models of leadership were failing us. I want you and your teams to walk away with an understanding of how the power of co-elevation can break down silos, transform teams, and reinvent collaboration. CEOs from organizations like Amazon, Target, Unilever, General Motors, Verizon have embraced co-elevation to meet this new work world that we live in today. Imagine co-elevation alive in your organization, your, your leaders and teams committed to a shared mission, but also committed to each other, committed to going higher together. Statistically, there are eight critical elements of high-performing co-elevated teams that require a recontracting, a new set of social norms among leaders and teams. Allow me to give you just a taste. Your teams deserve a commitment to the following. First, transformative outcomes. Do you realize that the same energy that it takes to move 10% forward is the exact same energy that it takes to move 10x forward? The question is, what is the hurdle that's acceptable? Collaboration and inclusion. These are crucial for breakthrough innovation, not the old traditional coexistence and living in silos that we've been struggling with for, for 20 years. 71% of teams don't even get value from the innovation of being a part of a team. This is reported in the data from our work with high-performing teams. Radical adaptability is the new norm, and it needs to be a new part of the contract. This type of agility allows us to meet the pace of change that we are subjected to on a daily basis. Candor, not conflict avoidance. Today, 74% of teams cannot even challenge each other in a room. We need this kind of alignment for bold decision makings and bold decisions. It's absolutely crucial. And then there's shared accountability, not authoritative accountability, but shared accountability. Not to the boss, but peer to peer. Imagine a contract where we as individuals look to each other and are responsible to truly cross the finish line together. Where leaders and teams, once they get close to achieving what they're trying to achieve, they look back and they decide whether or not their resources need to be reprioritized. That kind of adaptability and reprioritization becomes a part of the fabric and we make sure we go back and work to, as a collective to go across and to finish as a collective. And then of course, with all of the fatigue and the burnout and the frustration that the work hours of 24 seven have been, have been yielding us. With all of this, we need to not only allow the leadership to be responsible for playing whack-a-mole of lifting people up, but instead, but instead for the managers and the leaders to shift that responsibility into the fabric of the team on the team managing people's energy and relationships proactively, but not only inside of our organization, but outside of our organization, with our clients, with our prospects, right? With our vendor community. This is the promise of co-elevation, and it's an invitation to recontract with your teams. The executives I've been working with have now been joined by hundreds more who have been studying the disruption, the specific disruption of the last months, and the changes that have been brought to the work, the innovations that have been brought to the work. And collectively, we are refusing to go back to work, but we're going to go forward to work with a commitment to re-enter the new era as a co-elevating group, a group of peers committed to sharing these best practices, cracking the code of the most pressing issues facing leaders today.